Pokagon State Park is located in Northeast Indiana and we are Indiana's fifth oldest state park. So we were established in 1925. We're about 1,200 acres and we're kind of known as Indiana's winter playground since we are so far up north. We have programs all throughout the winter um, at the Nature Center, so we lead guided hikes and things like that. When the lake is frozen, people enjoy ice fishing and ice skating. Um, the toboggan run is probably our most popular winter feature. So in the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps came to Pokagon State Park to build a lot of our structures and put in roads and trails. And those young men who are working here, they were 18 to 25 years old. And their first winter here, they were just kind of bored and looking for something to do. They found this awesome hill right outside their camp and they actually made the first toboggan run just for their own enjoyment. And by 1938, the park manager decided to open that up to the public. Um, in 1940, we added a second track. At that time, it was refrigerated by manually putting ice on the track. So they would have to cut ice out of the lake and um, pack it down on the track. So every time it would thaw, they'd have to repeat that process. So in 1970, the track was refrigerated. So now we have technology where we spray the track with water and it cools itself from the inside out. So you walk your sled up to the top of the tower. Our staff up there will help um, seat you in the toboggan. They'll kind of go over the like rules that. with All you. Right. All right guys, no leaning, no reaching, no waving. If you lose something like a hat, let it fly. We will get it for you and stay seated until the sled comes to a stop. Got it? Got it? And then they send you down. You're gonna go down a quarter mile track. Um, from the top of the tower to the end of the track, there's about a 90 foot vertical drop. So you're on the toboggan for 20 to 30 seconds and usually average speed's about 35 miles an hour. I always compare it to a roller coaster in the winter time, so you kind of have the um, butterflies in your stomach when you're right at the top and you're looking down and you can see that first big drop. It feels so much faster than it's really going and that cold wind hits your face and um, kind of takes your breath away a little bit, but it's thrilling and it's a lot of fun. It's a tradition for a lot of families that come here um, Christmas time, you know, they might have a family gathering and they make this part of that tradition. So we hear from people that have been coming back year after year, now with their children and their grandchildren. Um, and then we hear from a lot of folks that it's their first time going down it. We had a family here last week from Florida who had never done such a thing and so that was pretty thrilling for them to be able to go down the toboggan. The Civilian Conservation Corps I think they'd be thrilled. You know, they spent so much of their time building a lot of our other structures um, that are certainly important and well-loved, but the one thing that wasn't meant to be open to the public is the one thing that we're known for. So I think they would just be thrilled that now 100,000 people ride it every year. Oh, God, that was a ton of fun.